Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Treacle. And the next movie I have to review for you guys is called This Christmas. And yes, I'm already watching Christmas movies. As a matter of fact, I watch them all year round. If they are brand new, I will watch them. Doesn't matter to me. Now, as far as my rules for Christmas music goes, I don't start listening to that until December 1st. And it lasts uh, only through uh, Christmas Day, and that's it. But getting back to this movie, this Christmas was released on my birthday, November 21st, 2007. It is a romantic dramedy that um, has a 6.3 out of 10 on IMDb, a 55% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 92% on Google. Uh, the movie had a $13 million budget, and it made $49.8 million at the box office. And uh, the movie was directed and written by Preston A. Whitman II, and it stars Loretta Devine, Idris Elba, Regina King, my girl, whew, gorgeous, and Delroy Lindo. And this movie is about a family patriarch by the name of Madeer Whitfield, who, after four-year absence with the family, assembles her large brood for a reunion for Christmas. However, though, family ties show signs of strain when various secrets come to light. And that's what this movie's about. This is a fun, sweet Christmas movie. You got a lot of drama. There's some definite funny moments in this movie. And there's a little romance in this movie as well. A lot of things you would expect from a Christmas movie. Um, and I, I like the performances, especially Regina King. I love me some Regina King. Lord have mercy. Oh. Anyway, getting past, we'll put that aside. Uh, she's fantastic. I love the cast, I love the characters, um, and I love the whole family setting in this movie. I love movies that take me back to my childhood when we used to sit down as a family and eat every night at the table. You know, nowadays, it's everybody pretty much eat, eats where they want and uh, eats in their room or uh, eats in the living room in front of the TV. And, uh, man, I, I miss those times. Uh, but at the same time, I, uh, I understand all about the family drama it all comes to light, especially when everyone gets together. And let's just face it, there's going to be some family members that you just don't get along with. I mean, you're not going to want anything bad to happen to them, but you just don't see eye to eye with them. And it, it, it's okay, you know, in this movie, it, it's okay to disagree and have different opinions and stuff. But at the end of the day, you're family, and you got to love your family, you know. And that's what this movie is really, the message in here is, you know, stick by your family through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that's what they do in this movie. And that's what I love about this particular film. And as I said, the writing and directing, phenomenal. I love the music. Uh, I love the things they do together as a family. Uh, dancing, a dancing line like they do in Soul Train, I thought was pretty cool. Uh, although I will say... The ending of the movie, um, I think they, they, they dragged the ending out a little too much uh, with that. Other than that, though, I really enjoyed this movie. I highly recommend you check this one out. I'm going to give this Christmas an 8 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So definitely check it out. You can find it on Netflix right now. In the comment section below, if you've seen it, give me your thoughts and opinions. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you like this review, hit that like button. But I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my re uh, movie review of Molly coming up here shortly. And then my Throwback Thursday movie review. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and check you later.